What do you got? I didn't call you. I'm glad you both are here. Patrick and I found evidence with help from Jackal P.I. We're here to report a murder. Does this have anything to do with why you and Spinelli broke into the mayor's office? Oh, well, don't think you should be having that conversation in front of me. If, um, if I might elaborate. I'm going to regret this. Go on, Spinelli. Oh, okay, uh, the philandering mayor and his sexually obliging secretary were partners in a, in a series of clandestine assignations that culminated in the regrettable injury and subsequent demise. Do you think you can finish this before dinner time? Okay, there are, there are mitigating circumstances that, that make the mayor's involvement increasingly suspect. Like the fact that the mayor fleed from the scene of the crime? Yeah, that makes me say is correct. And, and newly revealed bank account transactions that are highly suspicious, not to mention the mayor's own surreptitious demeanor, all leading the jackal to question whether we can trust the verity of any statement made by the meritally impaired mayor. Look, all you're telling me, I think, is that the mayor was sleeping with Brianna Hughes and is trying to cover his guilt. You know, this is old news. Actually, Mac, we went over the autopsy report, and this, well, it shows a different version than what the mayor said. Brianna did die from a bump to the head, but not just a single bump as we originally thought. Matt is being accused of mishandling the surgery. This, this points to something different. Yeah, you're trying to protect your brother, and you don't talk in complete sentences. Robin, tell me what's going on. Okay, there's a discrepancy between Mayor Floyd's story and Brianna's injuries. The autopsy suggests that there were two blows to the head, both in the exact same place. I'd say that's beyond coincidence. No, we're thinking the second blow was the fatal one. Well, don't forget about the bank account. Spinelli hacked into Brianna's checking account and... I, it makes me say there's no need to belabor the details of the Jackal's methodology. For once, Spinelli and I agree. Basically, Mayor Floyd was giving Brianna a lot of money. How much? A hundred thousand dollars over the last three months. That's quite a sum. Well, it's not unusual for a cheating husband to give money to his girlfriend. It's classic. Brianna Hughes was blackmailing Mayor Floyd, and uh, he struck a blow that led to her death. I mean, he was trying to make it look like an accident. Yeah, the commissioner is only partially correct. What do you mean? Well, Brianna Hughes was undoubtedly murdered, but it was not the philandering mayor himself who sent her to her death. Then who did? Mayor could not possibly have been the culprit who struck the fatal blow to Brianna Hughes. Then who do you suspect? Well, I have no ultimate suspect at, at, at present, but the, the P.I. handbook expressly states that the first suspect is seldom guilty. The P.I. handbook? Look, we've got evidence, plus Patrick and Robin's analysis of the autopsy. That's uh, plenty to issue a warrant for the mayor's arrest. Well, I think it would be wise to have S.I.D. look over the evidence first. I'm surprised you're not eager to move on this. Well, I just don't want to act prematurely. You're not afraid of the political pressure, are you? Brianna Hughes was murdered. Without the second blood of the head, she wouldn't have died. The mayor's been caught in yet another lion. While that in itself does not make him a murderer, it's a start. So I will go to the judge and get the warrant issued immediately. has agreed to hear the petition on Floyd's arrest, so I'm going to go take care of that right now. Well, what about Patrick and Robin? They were in the hotel room after Brianna was knocked unconscious. Well, we were called in to give her treatment. Still, they could be named accessories to murder or something. Assuming this goes to trial, Robin and Patrick will almost certainly be called to testify. But nobody would actually believe we were involved in the cover up story. We're going to need statements from both of you as to what you witnessed. It's fine. We can go on record with what we know about Good. the autopsy. Good. I want this to be airtight. Might the commissioner be a tad precipitous in his rush to close the case? I'm doing this by the book, Spinelli. Well, but in, in, if, if it turns out, like I strongly suggest, that the mayor is not our culprit, then, then the true murderer slips through the arms of the law, never to be punished for his or her sordid crime. Someone get him out of here before I have him arrested for all the hacking he did to get evidence in this case. Come on, Spinelli. Let's go. Hi. Uh, is my mother around? Uh, she stepped away to get some paperwork, but she should be back. You know? Well, cool. oh, that could be the end of the malpractice suit. That second fatal blow to Brianna's head proves that Matt did his job and did not kill her during surgery. Brianna was alive when we brought her to the hospital. The hand could prove that Matt should have been able to save her, and I should have made sure that he did. You're being too hard on yourself again, and Matt. We'll see. Come on, cheer up. <laughs> If it wasn't for us, the mayor would have gotten away with murder. 
pretty proud of your detective skills, aren't you? Well, I have to say, it runs in the family. Well, okay, give me a little bit something. I was no slouch. No, you were great following my lead. You're like a Watson to my homes. Really? I'm... Patrick, we're ready to take your statement. Be continued. Hey, good luck. This is so typical, Mom. Oh, maybe she's just running late. I'm doing an AP Summer Civics course, and my mom is supposed to walk me through a day on the job. Obviously, she forgot. Mm. And I have to tell you, I spent most of my childhood in this room waiting for my mom, and my dad, and then Uncle Mac. Oh, didn't it make you crazy? Mm, on the upside, you get to know how the police really work. And... You learned that Sergeant Hanson always has. Candy at the top of the house. Hey, set up quickly. That tip from City Hall is true. This should be good. Uh, D.A. Davis, do you know anything about a rumored high-profile arrest? No comment. What's the meeting of all this? What's going on? Mayor Floyd, are you here to speak to D.A. Davis? Can you tell us what this meeting is about? I'm looking for Commissioner Scorpio. I need to see him immediately. Uh, Commissioner, do you have any comment? Is that a warrant in your hand? Garrett Floyd, you're under arrest for the murder of Brianna Hughes. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Would you care to comment? Yes, actually, I would. <laughs> this is an outrageous farce. I am completely innocent. And there's absolutely no way District Attorney Davis can prosecute me. Why is that, Mayor Floyd? Well, it's because we were lovers.